right, you two. Oh. You know that you guys are 24 and 48 hours, so you can get your food and water going. When babies hatch out, they have leftovers of yolk, so they can actually go up to two days without eating or drinking anything. That's how they can ship them across the country. Pretty cool. We've got them on this carpet because we have wood floors and they don't have very good balance to begin with. And we're going to some food over here. I took some duck pellets and smashed them up in the mortar and pestle to make sure they're small enough for these guys. And then I got some duckweed in there. And you have to make sure that baby ducks get actual duck food because they need lots of niacin or else they can uh, lose the ability to walk properly because their legs don't develop right. So ducks need extra niacin in their food, that's why they're specialty duck food. There you go. Isn't that weird? That's the stuff, huh? Really? Come on, you're such a jerk. You cannot eat the baby ducks. Oh, nice. Hey, ducks. Oh, so close. Still trying, trying to figure out how to work that beak, huh? Oh, good job. That's a piece of hay. Not try to eat anything except for their actual food. That's babies for you. Can you go for it? Go on, you don't want to. Come on. Oh, baby duck yawn. Oh. You go on first one by accident. <laughs> They're such precious little fluff balls. Oh, good job. Good job. That's the stuff. I love how crazily they eat when they try something the first time. Their first experience with flavor and they're like, whoa. Hard to walk, huh? This is the guy that just hatched out today. He's a little more unstable on their feet. This one got to spend most of the night with me because they were all by themselves and I didn't want to leave them by themselves crying the whole time in the brooder. They went to spend the night there, but for most of the evening they were hanging out in my hands or lap. No, not the shaving. I swear, all babies need to protect from themselves. They're their own greatest enemies. Ooh. Hi. Big duck stretch. Oh, that is adorable. That little face. You got a little something there in your beak, buddy. 
Here you go. It's amazing how independent baby birds are. Well, precocial ones are compared to like human babies. Day one, these guys are walking around trying to eat random stuff, drinking water, and they can follow their moms if need be. But we're pretty useless. And you still cannot eat the ducks, Lonnie. Lonnie, excuse me, young man. Hi. Oh no, what happened? Oh no. <laughs> I like his walking strategies launched himself. Won't be able to tell the sex of these guys for a long time. They're pecans, so the main way you sex them is by the sound of their quacks. But the main identifier is actually one little feather on their tail that curls up into a little curly cue. And the males only have those, the female ducks don't. Cool distinguishing feature. But they all just like generic white ducks. I'm going to give these guys some more handling time for the now. <laughs>